I started doing is I started going out and I started door knocking with that list. And I was like, hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm an agent in your area. And I know that a lot of times things come up where you need your, your AC fixed or you need your windows done or you need a housekeeper or whatever the case may be. And I just wanted to give this to you. So that You're you giving have social, it. social proof and value to these people. You're just knocking yes. on the door and say, hey, uh, can I sell your house? Exactly. I'm bringing value. Yes. And of course, my name's at the top, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the only agent there. <laughs> but Duh. everything else has three of everything. Right. And I mean, and I had estate attorneys and divorce attorneys. And I'm like, I hope you never need that one. But it's there if you do. <laughs> and I would make jokes with them about it. Right. That's awesome. Because that's what they need. And Old school door knocking. And I got to tell you, I gained a ton of listings from that because people were like, really, you brought this over to me? Thank you so much. I didn't ask them for anything. And they're like, so you're, you're an agent, you're a realtor. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I am. And they're like, well, you know, I'm considering possibly selling. Can you mm -hmm. come in and, and tell me what you think? And I'm like, sure, I'm happy to do that. Absolutely. Right. Yes. You know, and then I would, one day I door knocked 10 doors in my parents' neighborhood. Do you hear I got that? Invited in Realtors starting out. Are you listening? This is golden nugget time right here. It's called yeah. old school. Knock on doors, bring value. Tell us more about this activity. And then I want you to give us some other activities such as this to get business. Okay. Absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you want me to give some golden nuggets about door knocking. The biggest thing with door knocking is you don't want to go. And again, you're, you're looking for a relationship with these people. You're not going asking them for their business. If you yes. walk up to their door and you're just asking them for your business, for their business. Now you're a solicitor. Nobody mm -hmm. wants a solicitor at their door. Okay. Now, yes. Dave and I have talked about this and I'm going to throw it out there today. I have a door knocking system. The I've got a guy list is great. If you want to put something like that together, but I do door knocking in three steps because it takes three steps for people to see your face mm -hmm. and see you as a recognizable, friendly person that they might be able to trust. Right. So when I have a listing, I might even take the I've got a guy list with me because that just means more business for my relationships. Right. And I'll and I'll take them that and I'll take them a flyer of the, my listing down the street that I'm going to be doing an open house on. And right. I'll say, hey, by the way, I'm the agent that just listed the home down the street. I wanted to introduce myself. I also wanted to bring this vendor list because I know sometimes you have things that come up in your home and you don't know who to call. So these are people that are that are tested and true. My clients have all been happy with them. And I want you to have this list. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to let you know, I'm going to be having a, an open house down the street this weekend. You're welcome to stop by if you want to. But mm -hmm. in between open houses, if you see anything weird mm -hmm. happening with the home, can you please keep my information and make sure you give me a call and I'll be over in a second. I want to keep your neighborhood safe. That's awesome. That's okay, awesome. That's the first time. Yes. That's the first time. Yes. Now, the next time I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back when the home is actually under contract. And I'm going to say, hey, it's me again. Do you remember my name? Did you forget? All right. Well, I have this other thing for you. And by the way, you LPTers out there, you guys have some amazing material for this. Yes, we do. Okay. You have some yes, of the do. new the new buyer's agent marketing stuff. You can door yes. knock with this stuff on the second time you're bringing your book that has your face on it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. yes. And you can say to them, hey, so I just wanted you to know we went under contract and there's going to be some unusual activity at the home. There's going to be some people on the roof and around the home. And I just didn't want you to be concerned. Just keeping you informed of what's going on. So make sure you keep my my phone number though. If anything, no need to dial nine one one. You call yeah, me. Call me. <laughs> I'll be there in a second or one of my associates to make sure that everything's okay. That's awesome. And they're like, "Wow, thank you so much." Mm -hmm. Now, when it's time to close, yes. Now remember, this I have a listing. Three. Ladies step and gentlemen, three. this is step three. Go ahead. This is, this is your face, third time. Now yes. you're a trusted person. They've talked to you. You're keeping the neighborhood safe. They're intrigued by this, okay? Mm -hmm. And you go to them the next time and you have a welcome card in your hand and you're like, hi, it's me again. Guess what? We're closing. At the end of the week, your new neighbors are Barbara and Sam. Now that's public record, so I can share that with you. They're not mm -hmm. my personal clients. They're actually the buyers. I have the, the, the sellers, mm -hmm. but- 
I thought it would be nice to have everybody sign this welcome card for them. That's would awesome. you be interested in signing this welcome card? And they're like, oh, yeah, that would be great. I think they would really like it. I think it would really feel like they chose a great neighborhood and a great home. Okay, yeah, I want to sign that. And then they sign it. And I'm like, by the way, I have an interesting dilemma. Can you help me? And they're like, uh, sure. I can help you because people like to help people that they like. You right. just have them sign a welcome card. They're going to want to help you. Okay. And, and they're also saying in their mind, ding, ding, ding. Wow. This girl, like she's been over here three times. She's kept me right. informed of the neighborhood. She has a welcome card for people that aren't even her customers. Mm -hmm. And now she needs help. I'm going to help her. And I'm like, well, we had a lot of people interested in that home, but it wasn't quite the right floor plan, but they love the neighborhood. And yes. I was just wondering, do you know anybody in the neighborhood that would like to sell in the near future that you mm -hmm. can introduce me to? The words introduce me to, because you're networking, you're building relationship-based business at this point, mm -hmm. okay? And yes. so they're like, oh, well, actually, I heard that John down the street was thinking about listing soon. Now, I, got, I want you guys to hear this. Do Listening. not say, okay, great. What, what address is that? Don't say that to them. You look at this person who said, yeah, John down the street, you're going to be like, okay, so I got to ask a bigger favor. I hope that's okay. I don't want to just go walk up to their door and tell them that the neighbors are talking about them selling their home. Is it possible that you could just walk me over there and introduce me to them? That would be really helpful. And it, I think it would make them feel less weird about it. Wow. Now, if they walk you over, which happens to me all the time, by they're the way, they walk me you. over, they walk they're, me over. Yes. They're like, oh yeah, hold on. Let's go ahead and go over there. I'm like, that would be so great. Thank you so much for your mm -hmm. help. They walk me over. They introduce me to John. Now they have hand walked me over. And John has seen all my material in the neighborhood because I've been leaving stuff at their doors, the door hangers, everything you guys have, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, I've seen your face. They've already seen you several times with your materials. And they're like, oh, thank you so much for bringing her over. I would like a free no obligation home evaluation on my home. Right. That would be great. Now right. you've built two relationships, one that introduced you and the one that's receiving you. And you're, relationships, not, using, you're not using artificial intelligence. You're no, not doing digital nothing. marketing. You're just, you're putting on your face. They're you're putting talking. on your Sunday best. You're talking to people. Yes. TTP. Yes. You're talking to them. You're building relationships. So the person that brought you over is going to keep your materials because guess what? You just stood out from everybody else. That's number one. Well, number realtors two. Take the time to go out there and do this next to none. Next to none. And part of it is fear, which we'll talk about in a minute. True. But that's, the other person that you just in the met book is mindset, right? Mindset. Yes. The other part of that part, that person that you just were introduced to, yes. you've been introduced by somebody that they trust. You're Correct. going to have over a 95% close rate when you are referred to somebody. Here's